right, these are my go-to post-workout stretches. First one, come into a lizard lunge. Have that back knee off the ground to start. Front knee is positioned right over the ankle, about 90 degree. You can have your hands on the inside of your leg if it's more comfortable to have them on either side of the leg, you can do that. And just hold it and breathe into it. And then go ahead, gently drop your back knee, tuck under your toes, and just hold it for another few breaths, opening up that hip flexor. Nice, long spine. And you're gonna lean back, straighten that front leg. You might have to inch your heel out a little bit so that way your hip is over your knee because I don't want you back here. You gotta have your hip stacked over your knee. Lean over that front leg. If your hamstring is tight, your knee might be bent. Your toes might be down towards the floor. If you can pull them up, pull them up towards the ceiling. Go until you find a good stretch in that hamstring. Should feel a <clears throat> good intense stretch, but never painful. And again, just breathe into it. Post-workout stretching is a good time. Catch your breath. Take some deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. Then you're gonna come back forward, come over onto your right hand, tuck that right leg over towards your left into a pigeon pose, okay? So you're gonna come down, straighten that back leg back behind you, and then you can stay up on your hands. Just make sure your hips are level and you're not leaning over onto that right hip. Okay, your foot can be tucked or it can be out more parallel depending on how open your hips are. If it feels okay, you're gonna come all the way down to the ground, keeping those hips level. You can rest your head all the way down, stretch your arms out. Whatever feels good in this position, just find what works for you. If you have any kind of knee pain, you're not gonna do this stretch and you're gonna swing around. Cross that leg over your hip. You can stay here or you can reach through, clasp that shin on your left leg and open up that way. Okay, otherwise you're gonna stay in the pigeon. And just breathe into it. This is a good one to open up those hips, loosen up a tight piriformis muscle, glute muscle, Another option you can add on for this one, reach back towards that left leg, grab that left foot, get a good quad stretch. So you might be back here farther, you might be able to pull it in towards your hip, stretch out that quad and breathe into it. If this is too much, if you can't reach your foot, um, you can use a strap or have someone help you. Otherwise, just stay in your pigeon. And then when you're ready, you're gonna swing that left leg. Sit onto your right hip, swing that left leg around. Cross it over, try and have your foot flat. You're gonna do a seated spinal twist. Spine is straight. You can wrap your arm around that knee. Sit up straight, look back over that shoulder. Good, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. A deeper stretch, take that elbow on the outside of the knee and press it and turn. Another option, if your shoulders are flexible, you can clasp that hand, twine it through, and then reach around and clasp it. This one's a little more intense. Some days I can do that one, other days I can't. My left side is a lot tighter. Good, now unwind. Now you're gonna stack that left knee on top of the right knee. You can wiggle into it. Gomukhasana, you can hold your feet here. You should feel a good stretch in that left hip. And again, if this hurts your knees, don't do it. <clears throat> 
if you feel a good stretch right here, stay here. Otherwise, you're gonna lean forward, hands over, release those hips, try and keep your spine straight. Nice, elongated spine, stretching through the top of your head, out through your tailbone. You can stay right here. If you wanna stretch your shoulders, shoulder blades at the same time, you're gonna take your right arm, wrap it, so you're gonna cross it over, bend your elbows, wrap it around, clasp your hands, pull your elbows away from your chest to keep your hands pointing up towards the ceiling. So you should feel a good stretch in the back of their shoulders, maybe into your neck, depending where you're tight. Just breathe, hold it. Another option, take that left hand back behind you, bend it, right arm goes around, clasp your hands if you can. If you can't clasp your hands, you can use a strap or you can just stick with the eagle arms that I just showed you. Straight spine, keep that elbow pointing up towards the ceiling to stretch the tricep. Just breathe into it. You can fold over if you have the flexibility. unwind do the exact same thing on the other side so now your left leg is going to be forward <clears throat> come into that high lizard hands are on the inside of your foot knee is bent right over that ankle or if you feel more comfortable you can have them on the outside on either outside whatever feels good just breathe And then drop, gently drop that back knee, untuck the toes. Open up that hip flexor. Good. Then you're gonna go into half splits pose. You may need to walk that heel out a little bit. Hinge over that front leg. Stretch out that hamstring. Keep your hip over your knee. Good. Think about pulling your left hip back, right hip forward. Try and keep everything even and level. If you can pull your toes up towards the ceiling, pull them up. Good. Come back forward. Gently bend that knee across in front. Keep that right leg straight back behind you toes pointing straight back make sure they're not pointing in or out they're pointing straight either stay up or come down make sure you're not leaning over onto that left hip if you are you could use a yoga block or a pillow to help prop it up you want to make sure your hips are nice and level and just breathe here let everything relax get the oxygen down into those muscles This pose is one that I used to do every night before bed. It really helped open up my tight hips, tight lower back. You can hold any of these poses, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, a few minutes. If you want, take that option to grab that back foot, either resist into the hand to stretch the quad or pull it front towards that hip keep your hips and chest facing forward a good stretch on that quad whatever feels good for your body and go ahead gently let it go lean onto that left hip swing that leg around Keep that right foot flat on the ground. Wrap your arm around, spine is nice and straight. And then exhale and rotate, look over that right shoulder. Breathe. 
breathe into it. A deeper stretch. Push that elbow into the knee. Push away. You can also try that bind. This is my tight side. Let's see if I can do it today. Oh, I got it. Straight spine. Rotate as much as you can. This pose is a little harder to do deep belly breathing, so just breathe. Gently unwind. Stack your knees on top of each other. Try not to sit on that back foot. I know it's hard sometimes if your hips aren't open. Breathe into that deep hip stretch. <clears throat> your poses might not look exactly like mine. Just try and get alignment as best as you can. If you're really tight, your knee might be way up here or way out here, and that's okay. If you feel it in this stretch, just hold it there and breathe into it. <clears throat> you can walk your hands forward, keeping that spine as straight as possible. If your spine rounds and you feel like you're arching, then stay sitting straight up. Take that option to cross your arms, eagle arms, left arm crosses over right, bend at the elbows, wrap and clasp, pull your elbows straight out away from your chest, hands point straight up towards the ceiling, and breathe into it. This one always feels good on my shoulders and my neck. Another option is for the full Gomukhasana pose. Take your right arm back behind, left arm around, clasp your hands if you can. Keep that elbow pointing straight up. You can lean forward if it feels okay. unwind and then I like to finish up with a yogi squat open up those hips have your heels flat on the ground if you can if you can't get your heels all the way down on the ground and you can't sit in a yogi squat with a straight spine if you're hunched over you can come up and rest your elbows on your knees and just open up those hips think about pushing your knees open Okay, and eventually when your hips get a little more open, your ankles get a little more flexible, you might be able to come down into that yogi squat. Flexibility takes a lot of practice, a lot of time, so take your time with it, practice every day, and eventually you'll get there. Option here, take that right arm down, press into the floor, open up, left arm up towards the ceiling, Turn your palm to face you. If it feels okay on your neck, look up towards the ceiling. A little rotation, shoulder opening. Again, if you want a deeper shoulder stretch, clasp your hands, bind around that right knee. And again, look up towards the ceiling over your left shoulder. Unwind. Recenter yourself, prayer hands, push your knees out. And then same thing on the other side. Tuck that shoulder, left shoulder into the left knee, hand on the floor, reach up, twist if you can. Turn that right palm to face you, open up, chest towards the ceiling. If it bothers your neck, you can just keep looking down towards the ground. Option, bind on the other side. Sometimes I have to wiggle into it a little bit. Open up, clasp your hands. Breathe as much as you can. You might find one side is tighter than the other. For me, it's almost always my left side. 
I'm gonna try and hold that left side maybe a little longer. Try and open it up. Good. Recenter. Hinge forward, give me a rag doll. Clasp your elbows if it feels okay. If your hamstrings are tight, your knees might be bent. Rock side to side. Let go of any tension in your neck, your shoulders, your spine. Option to clasp your hands back behind you. Open up those shoulders one last time. Let your head drop. If your knees are straight, your legs are straight, I mean, you can hinge forward. Have your hips over your heels. Lean into the balls of your feet. Let your neck relax. Gently let your arms go. Grab your elbows one more time. And then roll on up one vertebrae at a time. Bringing your head up last. Roll those shoulders. Whew. So those are some of my go-to stretches after a workout. Um, you can modify them as you need. You can go through them a little faster, a little slower. Um, use straps. Make it your own stretching.